Hello, my name's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the Bailey Gifford American Fund. Now, I wanted to talk to you about this investment specifically because it is my biggest holding that I currently have in my portfolio. So I currently have a few thousand pounds of Bailey Gifford American Fund in my ISAs at the moment. So I always want to talk to you about investments that I hold myself because I think if I'm not willing to hold on to an investment, then why would you be interested in it? Um, so this investment has done really, really well for me over the last couple of years. It will be interesting to see whether that growth continues because obviously 2020 and 2021, there has been some huge growth in American stocks. So that momentum and growth might start to slow down but I'm still going to hold on to this investment and I'm going to talk you through the basics around it today so you can maybe potentially go away and do your own research and see if it's something that you might be interested in investing in. The main reason, if I'm completely honest, as to why I started investing in the Bailey Gifford American Fund is because of its phenomenal historic performance. Now, there is always a lot of talk about past performance not being indicative of future performance, and I totally understand that. However, I do think it is a factor that should be considered when you are thinking about making certain investments. So the historic performance for this, as I said, has been amazing. And I'm just looking at their July 2021 fact sheet so I can give you the most up-to-date information. Their one-year performance in terms of percentage returns is 46.9% which is absolutely fantastic. In that time, the index has seen a return of 28.8%. So the index has also done really, really well, but obviously 46.9% is much, much higher than that. Just to give you an idea of the index, we are comparing this directly to the S&P 500, um, which some people might also choose to be invested in as well. Um, then their three-year annualized returns are 40.2% versus the index return, the S&P 500 return of 15.9%. And then their five-year annualized returns are 35.8% versus 16.3% on the S&P 500. Um, so as you can see, they have, for the past five years, returned over 35% um, annualized returns, which is absolutely fantastic. And it is one of the reasons why I want to stay invested in the Bailey Gifford American Fund, and I will be holding on to my investment in it. So as I said, they're using the S&P 500 as their benchmark and their aim is to outperform the S&P 500 by 1.5% per annum over rolling five year periods. And that is after the deduction of their costs. I think often people get put off by investing in managed funds because they are worried about um, the fees being higher. But I think that those returns, those big, big returns that I've talked about over the last five years are for me reason enough that I feel comfortable paying the fees to be invested in this fund rather than just investing in the S&P 500. So one thing to note about the Bailey Gifford American Fund is it is one of the riskier funds. So risk scores run all the way from one being the least risky and potentially the lower returns all the way up to seven, which is the most risky. However, up at seven, you are typically seeing higher returns. Might not happen, but typically if you go for a riskier fund, you do tend to see higher returns. And the risk level for Bailey Gifford American Fund is seven. So it is right up there at the top in terms of risk level. Now for me, this is something I'm comfortable with. I want to hold on to these investments for at least five years probably longer. So the fact that it is a risky fund, I am comfortable with this because any peaks and troughs I will ride out through that time. So that's something I'm comfortable with. However, if you are looking to invest for less than five years, you might want to have a look at an investment that might be less risky than this one. So just to give you an idea of the kind of things that Bailey Gifford American holds in its funds, I will go through the top 10 holdings. Um, some of these holdings I actually have separately as individual stocks and shares in my investment accounts as well. Um, but just to run you through them, the top holding is Shopify, then we have Moderna, at number three, we have Trade Desk, then Roku, then Wayfair, then Amazon, then Tesla, Twilio, 
Zoom video communications and then Netflix. So obviously these are all American companies because this is an American fund. Also, it is quite heavy on the tech side of things. So just to give you an idea of breakdown of their total assets, 31.5% of them are in the technology sector. Um, then the next sector is consumer discretionary, which is 24.6%. Then healthcare, so that'll be your stocks like Moderna, 20.8%. Communication services, 11.2%. Financials, 5.2%. Industrials, 3.6% real estate 1.7 and then cash 1.6 percent so as i said it is quite high on the information technology sector um, so again it might be worth thinking if you're comfortable with that um, level of tech there is a talk of the technology sector potentially being in a little bit of a bubble at the moment so that might be something that you might want to consider if you're deciding whether or not to invest in the Bailey Gifford American Fund. So in terms of charges and fees the ongoing charge for the Bailey Gifford American Fund is 0.51% um, so as I said, you can get lower fees if you wanted to invest in something like the S&P 500. However, having had a look at the past performance and potential future performance of this fund, I'm comfortable with paying those 0.51% fees um, for the managers to actively manage these funds and try and get the best return. So I'm comfortable with that fee level. Um, if you're interested in whether I have the income or accumulation version of this fund, I have the accumulation version, which means that all of the growth and profit from any dividends um, go straight back and are reinvested in this fund. So I don't generate any income from it, nothing comes out of it, it all just goes back in to compound and hopefully grow more in time. So I am invested in the Bailey Gifford American Fund in my investment ISA. I have an investment ISA with Barclay Smart Investor and I also have one with Fidelity as well. The Bailey Gifford American Fund is available in lots of different investment platforms. I personally know that you can also buy it on Hargreaves Lansdowne because I have purchased it for my children's junior ISA within the, their Hargreaves Lansdowne accounts. You have it available on Fidelity and Barclays, as I said. It's probably also available on lots of different platforms, for example, Interactive Investors, AJ Bell, you can probably get it there as well. Um, so yeah, it's very, very widely available. I personally have been so, so pleased with its performance. It'll be interesting to see how it does over the coming years, having seen it perform so, so well for me in the last couple of years. I'd like to see that continue. However, I do understand that potentially I might start to see lower returns over the next couple of years just while things settle down. We'll see how it goes but yeah I am very very pleased to be invested in this fund. Um, any questions please do let me know in the comments down below. I do hold a few different Bailey Gifford funds so I also have the Bailey Gifford Positive Change, Bailey Gifford Long Term Growth so um, I do have a video actually on Bailey Gifford Positive Change if you'd like to have a look at that um, and I'm happy to do videos on any of the other fund investments that I have, all the ETFs, all the trusts, all the individual stocks and shares. So if you would like to subscribe to this channel and check out more of these kind of videos in the future, then please do. Um, it's free and uh, I'd really appreciate it. Um, anyway, thank you so, so very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.